You need to get these LEGO Star Wars sets before it's too late. Hello everyone, it is I read Public Sets, and we now have official confirmation on the LEGO Star Wars sets that will be retiring by the end of this year. And it is so sad, there are so many of these. Did you guys know the Duel on Mustafar set already is gone? It's already retired, it's not on shelves, you cannot get it anymore. It was 14 bucks and now it's gone, it's going up in price like crazy, and I am honestly shocked. So we are going to get into all of that right away, but first, you are all going to have to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It will help me out a metric ton and it will incentivize you even further. I am going to give you this pretend shekel in order to smash the like button and take that shekel to go buy one of these retiring sets because it is very scary because you guys know like it is expensive to buy Lego Star Wars sets and if you've been waiting on one for a while, then seeing this is going to drive you nuts. So let me lay out what retiring means. So basically, after a Lego set has been out for around a year or two, depending on how well it's selling, how much Lego, you know, likes the set being out on shelves, if there's a new one they want to put out, uh, all of those types of factors, uh, Lego will retire a set. Uh, you know, they don't want it anymore, it's not selling too well, nobody wants it. And yeah, that's not very nice. Um, but you know, it does happen. It is a natural flow of things. If they're going to keep releasing sets, they can't keep resupplying the old ones. Although it would be nice. And sometimes they don't retire sets because they are just like, you know, kind of, you know, iconic things that they need to keep. So things like the UCS Gunship are probably going to be on shelves for a while. The UCS Falcon has been on shelves for five years now. And you'll see other things that are going to be there. UCS sets are usually, again, a safe bet. Uh, but a lot of stuff is actually going to be retiring this year, including UCS sets. So so let's get right on into that. So first up, a small one is, well, this is not small. Uh, is it set 31200, the Sith art? Now, this is the Sith art set. You get the Darth Maul, Vader, Kylo Ren. And if you've been wanting this, this is the time to get it. Um, now, there is a little thing, and I will tell you guys how to get these all cheaper later in this video. Uh, you know, because there is a very small window uh, where you can get these very cheap. And I'll discuss that later. Uh, but there is that Sith art, which is not very exciting. Uh, but next up after that, we have a 2019 set, and this is the set 75249 Resistance Y-Wing Starfighter. This obviously comes with Poe, Zori Bliss, the Snowtrooper. Uh, we also get some cool-looking droids. Obviously, this one's going to be retiring this year, which is fantastic for me, honestly, because I'm very excited. So I'm hoping this will mean that we're getting a blue Captain Rex's Y-Wing next year. But hey, it could mean anything. You know, obviously, this is a decent piece count. Uh, I don't know if I'd pick this up. I'm still kind of waiting. I'll see if there's any good deals on it, but right now there haven't been. Uh, but either way, that is neat. Now, next up after that, a set retiring set 75270 Obi-Wan Kenobi's Hut. Now, we've known this for a while. It's been going on sale at Walmarts all across the country. Uh, obviously, this one comes with Obi-Wan, Luke, R2, uh, Tusken Raider. After that, we have two of the less exciting ones. These I don't think sold particularly well, but these are the brick sketches of both BB-8 and the First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, obviously, they did not sell well. I will not be picking these up. Not exciting. Now, here are some big ones, and, and these are really big, and you guys really need to pay close attention. But this is set 75251 Darth Vader's Castle. This one, Lego will, and I guarantee, will never release again. Unless they do some sort of weird re-release, I do not see a situation in which this really comes back. Uh, now, there's a number of reasons to get this one. First off, there is going to be a Vader's Tall Tale Halloween special later this year for LEGO Star Wars. It is going to be centered around Vader's castle. Uh, so if you have not gotten this, this is a great one to get. I believe it's an Amazon exclusive. I at first did not want this one. I am happy I got it because it's just such a unique build, and I love sets like that. We're never going to get it again, which is really disappointing, but I totally recommend everyone get this one right away. It comes with fantastic figures, fantastic build, and it's just super fun to play around with. Now, next up, we have a pretty big one. This is the first Mandalorian set to retire, uh, which is kind of sad, a bittersweet. Uh, but this is says 75254, the ATST Raider. Obviously, this was the one where we got first Mando, we got Cara Dune, and we got the Clatoonian Raiders. Uh, obviously, a great set. I'd recommend if you have not gotten that, it's $40 right now. What are you waiting for? Go get it. And then after that, we have the set 75256 Kylo Ren's Shuttle. Uh, obviously, this one is great. One of the best sequel sets, I think, by far. It is a fantastic display model. A few months ago, I had to bite the bullet and buy this one. I have it uh, behind me on my shelf. Uh, obviously, disappointing. You get some pretty essential characters from the movie. You basically get every villain you're going to need. Um, you're getting Kylo, you're getting Pride, you're getting Sith Troopers, you're getting Storm Troopers, you're getting some Knights of Ren, which we, again, we, we might see them again, but I think it's unlikely. 
Uh, here's another big one, the 75267 Mandalorian Battle Pack. This one will have been out for two years now. Uh, well, this will actually, yeah, 2020. It'll, it'll be out for two years by the end of this year. Uh, and obviously, it's going to be sad to see this one go. This one's been on shelves for a while now. Uh, so you pr probably all have had a chance to get it. I would recommend getting at least one. I wouldn't say really any more than that is necessary. And then after that, finally... Uh, so 75271, the Luke Skywalker's land speeder is retiring with Luke with a poncho, C-3PO, and the Jawa. Obviously, $30 was overpriced. We all know we didn't like it. But my guess is they're retiring this one so they can release the UCS Luke's land speeder. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but next up, we have 75273, the Poe Dameron's X-Wing. And I'm disappointed about this one. I've been eyeing this one for a while, mainly because it comes with that beautiful Janna figure that looks fantastic I, I really like that figure and you know there's a chance we might see it again in the Lando show so I wouldn't you know worry too much about not getting that but it could also go up in value you know we'll wait and see sequel stuff is kind of weird I don't know if that'll be a thing that goes up in value because nobody buys it now and then everyone will want it later on and then this is the big one that concerns me because I have been eyeing the set forever the 75275 UCS A-Wing Starfighter Obviously, not really much in the way of figures, but it is one of the nicest UCS designs. Uh, it is our first A-Wing in the UCS style, which is fantastic. Uh, and, and yeah, that's going to be sad to see go. Now, here are two more ones that I would recommend getting, again, if you have not already. But this is the uh, 75274 TIE fight Fighter Pilot's Helmet. That is going to be retiring. Uh, so, you know, I have not gotten that one. I need to get it soon because I'm worried it's going to sell out any day now and I'll never get it again. And then also 75276 Stormtrooper Helmet. That one is going to be in stock a little longer. It's been on sale for a few years now. Uh, TIE Fighter Pilot is certainly going to be a bigger priority. Uh, but, yeah. And next up, we have a... Kind of sad one. Uh, this is 75281, the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Obviously a prequel set. It's always sad to see those go. Uh, you know, nothing crazy about the set, but, you know, if you like the prequels, this is a good one to get. Uh, the Knights of Ren transport ship. Like, I've been eyeing this one since last summer, and I don't know if I should buy it or not. I don't particularly like Episode Nine. Uh, but I think it is kind of important to get. It would be great alongside Kylo Ren ship, and, you know, it does come with two Knights of Ren we likely won't see again. Uh, which is disappointing. And then after that, we do get the General Grievous's Starfighter. Now, this one is one that has not gone on sale almost anywhere and would be very disappointing to see go. Now, obviously, the big boy in this set uh, is the Airborne Trooper. The Airborne Trooper is never going to be seen again. Probably, no, it might, it might be seen again. Uh, but this one, obviously, is a very rare one. You're getting Obi-Wan and Grievous in it. $80 if you have not bit the bullet already. I don't know what you're waiting on. It's a $20 difference. I know everyone says it's overpriced, which it is. But I would say go for it. Go buy the General Grievous' Starfighter. It, it's worth it. I think if you can just scra scrape up the extra $20, go ahead. And now, if you did not pick up this one, the 75291 Death Star Final Duel is the one with Luke, Vader, and Palpatine and the Royal Guards. That is going to be retiring, which I'm kind of disappointed about. I do have the old 2014 model. I did not get the chance to pick this one up. I don't know. I might. We'll, we'll wait and see. I, I don't want to spend too much money because, you know, I like to save. Uh, but, you know, it is still a nice-looking set. And then another one, which, again, I don't think will ever be made into a lego set again so if you want it this is your only chance unless you want to pay an exorbitant overpriced ratio and i'll talk about that later uh, but is it 75293 resistance its transport and finally we have the mandalorian and child brickheads which will be retiring now these will all be retiring uh, december 31st so after the 31st you can say no more to these sets uh, and here is the thing about buying these sets now these sets will undoubtedly, every single one of them, go up in value. Now, the reason for this is because the way LEGO works, basically, you know, they're not manufacturing these sets anymore. And even if they do, people like certain exclusivities of having the 2014 box. So it's not like the original 2014 Death Star Final Duel got worth any less because this set was released. And it is almost a certain bet, unless LEGO just does an outright re-release, copy for copy, like, just releases the same thing like they've kind of done with uh, the Frozen Ice Castle. Uh, which they, they actually did do that. Uh, unless they do something like that, you won't be seeing these sets again. And obviously, some of these came out just last year. I mean, you know, obviously it makes sense. Like, some of them have been around since 2019. 
uh, like the ATSD Raider or Knights of Renship. Uh, but other ones just came out last summer, less than a year ago. And it will have been, I believe, they'll only been on shelves a little over a year and a half, like the General Grievous Starfighter. And that is all obviously very disappointing because, you know, I would like to see um, these get some more shelf life. But yeah, with us knowing the retired sets, it's also likely where we could get expected to look for some new sets, um, you know, which, which will come out probably soon, since usually they follow short after. Um, but yeah, I am curious to hear what you guys have to say. Obviously, it is time to buy these now because they will be an excessive price if you want them later on. So just try to buy them while you can. And the big loophole with this, Black Fridays. Now, Black Friday is a weird time, and it especially was last year because there were so many good LEGO deals, and they sold out really quickly. So you have to be on the marble because you could get good deals. You get $20, $30 off possibly with some of these. We even saw some sets go up to 40% off last year. Uh, not saying they were popular sets, but they were Star Wars sets, like which, which is unheard of. Uh, namely the Passana Speeder Chase, um, but you'd see probably things uh, like the Pose X-Wing going down to $40, but you just have to time it right. Um, you know, it depends. Lego goes quickly on Black Friday, especially, so you have to stay tuned for that. That is the only time, and if you don't get it Black Friday, there is a very strong likelihood you don't get it all. I know last year, the Slave 1 went for like 30% off. Everyone bought it, then it appeared in The Mandalorian. It was just gone. Nobody had a chance to get it. Same deal with a lot of these ships. It's going to be the exact same thing, uh, which is mildly disappointing. Uh, so you guys need to jump on that now because, or Black Friday, if you want to secure something and you just have to have a set, then buy it now. Don't even hesitate. Uh, but if you want to wait and you're like iffy, if 50 50, like you'd live without a set, uh, then wait till Black Friday. See if there are any good deals. But yeah, with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all of the other things. I'll see you all in the next one. Remember, peace out and stay awesome.